In the spirit of Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to go for the Platinum Trophy for Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 is one of the shorter games in the Resident Evil franchise, so because of that, getting the Platinum Trophy is pretty straightforward. The first step was to play the game on hardcore difficulty while getting all the collectibles and as many miscellaneous trophies as I could. We start the game off with Jill Valentine immediately turning into a zombie and dying. Game over. Just kidding. Turns out it was a dream. Didn't see that coming. Then our old buddy Brad gives us a call and starts yelling us to leave the apartment as fast as we can. Brad, chill out. I just woke up. Immediately, our new friend Nemesis crashes through a wall, rude by the way, and starts to attack us. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want whatever you're selling. Leave me alone. Jesus, man. Leave me alone. And I'm running. Oh my god. Jill, please. Limp faster. Hey, there's our first trophy. First escape. We meet up with Brad at the movie theater, and not even one minute later, he gets bit. I'm sure he'll be fine. After leaving Brad behind, I make my way up to a rooftop where a helicopter is waiting to evacuate. Once again, Nemesis has to ruin the fun. Finally, we're gonna escape. God, fastest Resident Evil game ever. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh. Who could have dared to, oh my goodness. This guy again. Damn it, Nemesis and your tomfoolery. Oh, I knew I should've got that oil change. Yeah, bitch. R2. Oh, I'm, I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm sorry. When all hope seems lost, a man named Carlos saves me by blasting Nemesis with a rocket launcher. He's definitely dead now. Right? Somebody to lean on. After saving me, Carlos takes me to his hideout in the subway station, introduces me to some of his buddies, and gives me the task to go back outside and get the train station running. I accept the task, make my way out, and find my first collectible of the game. Okay, so right up here should be the first little toy statue we gotta shoot. Hello, Charlie. Going outside was gonna be dangerous, so I had to make sure I was stocked up on some healing items. Hey, basic chemistry, all right. As I was exploring Raccoon City, I found my first gun part for my pistol. Oh, ho, ho, gunsmith, improve a weapon. On my way to get the subway station powered up, I ran into another one of Carlos's acquaintances. No, 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 wait, please! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? This guy is a real treat. Regardless, I kept pushing forward, taking out any enemies in my way. Two for one deal. I finally made it to the power station, cleared out some zombies in the way, and found my first inventory upgrade. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, get organized. To get the power back on, I needed to turn on three generators while dodging these creepy spider things. So gross, so gross, so gross. I don't like this. No. Once the last generator was turned on, I got the hell out of there. Oh my God, let me out of here. Oh, and blew up their nest by hitting the main power switch. Now I needed to actually turn on the subway system. On my way to the terminal, Nemesis attacked me. Luckily, I had a grenade. Throw grenades here. Oh God. Oh, okay. Dropped an item box. Nemesis down. Hell yeah. Supply case. Let's get the hell out of here. Run for your freaking life, Jill. Oh, I don't have any heals. Oh my god. Run. Oh my god. Nemesis is back. Nemesis is back. Nemesis is back. I made oh. it to the subway station and inputted a route to get us out of Raccoon City. On my way back to Carlos, I was attacked by Nemesis. Luckily, I escaped and was properly introduced to Nikolai. After some friendly banter, Nemesis attacks again. I totally dodge all of his attacks and make it into the sewers. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's so scary, it's so scary. Open it, Jill. Get in there. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Dude, being chased by Nemesis is so scary. Oh, it's so scary. I made my way out of the sewers and found myself being chased by Nemesis, who now has a flamethrower. I climbed my way up the building and prepared myself for the first big boss fight with Nemesis. Holy crap, man. This guy just don't quit. What is going on? Jill, run. For the love of God, run. Dude, so much fire. Oh my God, dude. Crazy, man. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Die, 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 die. Oh, no, he's not dead. Eventually, I did enough damage, and he died for good this time. Right? Nemesis down? Nope. He shows up not three minutes later with a rocket launcher now. This guy doesn't quit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't like this, guys. Oh, I don't like this. Luckily, Carlos saves me again, and I make it safely back into the subway station. Legend. Absolute legend. Everyone except for Carlos gets on the train to leave Raccoon City once and for all. But surprise, Nemesis is there. Nikolai betrays us, and the train blows up with Jill on it. Escape from the city. Meanwhile, Carlos is at the RPD and runs into an old friend. Brad, it didn't have to be like this. It didn't have to be like this, Brad. Okay, Brad, die already, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Defeat zombie Brad. After punching my way to the Raccoon City Police Department, I'm awarded the Carlos Express Trophy. The Carlos Express. Meanwhile, Jill is alive, and she sees Nemesis fall into the river while saying the best line in the game. Bitch can't even swim. Turns out he can swim and attacks her on the bridge, leading to a fight under the clock tower. This fight was a tough one for me on hardcore mode. I almost ran out of ammo. Okay, it's giving me health. That's not what I need. I don't need help. I need bullets. This is like Resident Evil 2 all over again. Yes, get lit on fire. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? What is this? Yeah! How much more damage can he possibly take? This is madness. Dude, die. Oh my goodness, it's still living. I don't have any more bullets. Oh! The jukes! There it is! Yes! Right. This was a long fight, but Nemesis is for sure 100% dead this time. Oh my god, no, he's still alive. And now he's poisoned Jill. Great. I don't feel so good. Oh no. <laughs> Carlos finds us a half a day later and is on a mission to find a vaccine to save Jill's life. After fighting his way through a hospital, Carlos finds a vaccine and gives it to Jill. Suddenly, we are overrun by zombies. Our only option is to fight, so that's exactly what we do. Oh, dude, it's like playing COD zombies or something. Oh, man, there are so many zombies. Oh, grenaded. This is my room. Oh! Oh, my God, he's got a... Tentacle on his head. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine. Dude, so many zombies. So many zombies. Place the detonator. Hold out until the explosion. All right, I got this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I need a hero. 
Carlos leaves and Jill finally wakes up only to find out the city is about to be nuked. It's time to escape Raccoon City once and for all. I fight my way out of the hospital while finishing up miscellaneous trophies along the way. Hey, Master of Unlocking. Oh, we also just got Kendo's Armory. Collect all weapons in the campaign. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, we just got the Magnum. And meet up with Carlos's friend, Ty. He's immediately murdered by Nemesis, and Jill barely escapes. The Pursuer. It's time to put a stop to Nemesis once and for all. So I collect my last Charlie bobblehead. Goodbye, Charlie. And prepare to defeat Nemesis. Oh my god, immediately. Nemesis, we can't keep beating like this. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him with flame rounds and explosive rounds. Flame rounds, explosive rounds. Get out of here, Nemesis. All these zombies need to go away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! He does hit the zombies. I gotta heal. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying. Yeah, buddy! Hell yeah, Carlos. I'm gonna hit him with the Magnum. Oh! Oh my god, saved! Eventually, Carlos calls down a crane mid-fight and helps me kill Nemesis. He's for sure 100% dead this time. No doubt about it. You can't keep getting away with it! Yeah, Nemesis still wasn't dead. He came back for one last fight, for real this time. All I had to do was put him down and my first playthrough would be done. Hit him with it. Yeah. Okay, I gotta hit these little bulbuses. Oh god, I'm already hit. Should be good, should be good. All right, push this in, push this in. We gotta recharge the laser gun. Let me just get right next to this creepy, gross monster. Oh, hit him with it. Get that charge. Let's go. Oh my god, she is so badass. Yes. Jill Valentine, I love you. Oh my god. Good riddance. Hell yeah. Nemesis down. Get the hell out of here, Nemesis. With Nemesis down, we escape the facility via the stairs, shoot Nikolai, finally, and escape in a helicopter as the city explodes around us. My first playthrough is done. Veteran. Complete the game on hardcore or higher. Survivor. Complete the game on standard. Hey, and I set a personal best. Hey, look at me. I got a C. It's like high school all over again. <laughs> now it was time for step two. I needed to beat the game on nightmare difficulty without healing. To make my life easier for this challenge, I needed to unlock the infinite rocket launcher as well as two recovery coins, which heal you over time while equipped. And a defense coin so I wouldn't get one shot by Nemesis. You unlock these items in the in-game shop that is available after you beat the game for the first time. In this shop, you use points you get by doing challenges such as completing trophies or combat specific challenges. I needed to get more kills with certain weapons to be able to have enough points to get the items I wanted. So I grinded this Carlos level over and over for about an hour until I completed the specific challenges and could buy the items I wanted. With the items now in my possession, it was time to blast my way through the story again. What's up, zombie? 
<laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun playthrough, guys. Oh, this is going to be a fun playthrough. Zombie explosions. <laughs> there it is. Bookworm. Okay. How did I miss that the first time? <laughs> That's so weird. Oh my god, he's to my right. Get up, Jill. Oh, I'm getting bit by a zombie. I just got punched. Rockets. Yes. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to try to hit me. And he's dead already. <laughs> oh, you think it. Oh. Oh, you think you're so sneaky, video game. There's supposed to be a hunter right here. What is happening? This is not good. What are they doing? What, what are we doing? Oh! Oh, there he is! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh, Capcom, you sneaky devils. Hey, electric slide. Gather all the fuses in the warehouse within five minutes. Oh, Jill is pissed. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Nerd. Conqueror trophy. Complete the game on nightmare or higher. Let's go. Sprinter. Complete the game in under two hours. Oh, we actually got that one. I wasn't even trying to go for that, but sick. That's the power of the rocket launcher. Too strong. I might need these later. Complete the game using one or few recovery items. Again, really easy with the rocket launcher. <laughs> it makes the game so easy, man. For step three, I had to beat the game on Inferno difficulty which is the hardest difficulty in the game while getting an S rating. To get an S rating, you have to beat the game under two hours with only five saves. With the infinite rocket launcher unlocked, this actually wasn't too bad until I got to the final boss who can kill you in only two hits. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Nemesis! Dude, what do you mean? Oh, I the fight just started. <laughs> The fight just... Oh my gosh. All right. It's gonna be one of those, huh? It's gonna be one of those. Okay, gonna go for this one. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh. No. Oh man. Please, please. Yeah! Yes! Suck it, Nemesis. Dominator! Complete the game on Inferno! Jill Valentine, Inferno with an S rank! Yes! Yes! Oh! And sensational work. Complete the game with an S rank. Let's go, guys. Only one more trophy. And we got the platinum. So, like I just said, I only needed one more trophy for the platinum. All I had to do was beat the game without using the item box. So, I just put the game on the easiest difficulty, beat the game one last time, and got the platinum trophy. Minimalist. Complete the game without opening the item box. And so long, RC. Obtain all the trophies. Platinum trophy. Another Resident Evil game down. God, I love this series.
another day another platinum trophy down guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this type of content make sure to subscribe for more platinum trophy hunting videos and if you like this video right here check out this one as well